Hey everyone, Solar here. Welcome to my first Astroneer video of today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, quickly get solar energy or um, how to get power to power your stuff, to power your, say, research center or vehicle bay in Astroneer. Uh, there's three like pretty quick ways to do it, really the three only ways to do it, uh, but they'll be going in lists from fastest to, uh, I guess, slowest or most efficient to less efficient. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first way you're going to want to get power uh, is you're not going to be actually getting stacks of it like you see in my inventory, but um, you're going to be wanting to craft some solar panels which you can use uh, compound for, the material compound, which can be found, um, I guess, just on the surface, sort of like this resin right here, but it'll look like these, but white. Uh, once you find that and you get a stack of it, you can go into your inventory, uh, slide over down here to solar. Once you see that, craft those, and it'll put the first one in your backpack, which will continually recharge your uh, terrain tool, so you can mine more things constantly. Also, if you want, you can craft more solar panels like I have here, and stick these on your research center or vehicle bay, and as long as it's daytime, uh, there will be yellow energy flowing through these blue tubes right here, and these will uh, continually recharge all of your equipment. So yeah, uh, just keep in mind, those uh, solar panels only work during the daytime, so you can just use them all day and get a full charge if you want to use any of this stuff at night. These two other ways are basically how to get stacks of power, and this is to uh, use them uh, during the night time, or whenever you're just not happy, I guess, with the recharge times with the solar panels. Uh, you can find these little excavations, or wells, I kind of like to call them, uh, around the planet. Some of them will be for resin or other rare materials, but the most common ones that I've found have been uh, for power, actually. So if you just jump up onto these little, this little, I guess, uprising of land, it's sometimes pretty hard to get up to, but once you get up here, you can pull out your terrain tool, sort of highlight the blue arrow, turning it green, and you can mine out power. Uh, this will give you stacks of power, as you can see right there. Uh, that gave me a stack of power. And you can actually use this and physically plug these into your, I guess, these little technological plates or bases right here. Uh, you can stick these stacks of power into the port right there, and it'll charge it uh, during the nighttime or without those solar panels. And let's move on to the third way on how to get power. The third most uh, efficient way, or the least efficient way, to get power in the game is to go mining, finding these little pre-made caves and finding the little chunks of these yellow specks of light along the wall. Uh, mining these, the terrain tool will give you power, and they're normally found with the blue, uh, which is oxygen. So you can get a little bit of oxygen and power at the same time. Unfortunately, I can't find a lot right here, as I probably already mined it all, but the stuff in these caves does regenerate over time. Uh, those have been the three most efficient ways to get power. Uh, if you like these Astroneer videos, um, I guess drop a sub if you're new, click that like button if you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below on what more guides you'd like me to do, uh, unless I get told otherwise tomorrow, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a land rover and possibly a spaceship, uh, if I can progress far enough into the game today to bring that to you guys tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next one.